In part one of this series on fluid maintenance for hybrids, we covered coolant and engine oils. Now let's talk about some of the other major fluids that you'll find in a hybrid. We'll start with brake fluid. The brake system of a hybrid may have multiple components to perform regenerative braking. Regenerative braking is the hybrid's first choice for braking to help charge the battery. On most hybrids, the brake pedal acts more as an interface for the ABS module than as a request for braking. When the driver presses their foot on the brake pedal, it stimulates a pressure sensor in the system that makes up the brake request. Normally, the fluid pressure for the wheel hydraulics is generated by the pump and or accumulator in the ABS HCU or a stroke simulator, and is regulated by the tandem efforts of the ABS and the PCM's logic. If your customer is replacing and bleeding the brake fluid, a pressure bleeder and flare wrenches will not work. They'll need a scan tool to complete the procedure to open and shut the valves in the HCU and pedal simulator to remove air pockets. Some newer hybrids may specify DOT4 Plus or DOT4 low viscosity. These fluids have a lower viscosity rating compared to DOT3 and regular DOT4. These fluids are designed to work with high pressure pumps and valves found in some hybrid brake systems. In all hybrid automatic transmissions, transmission fluid does not come in contact with the motor drives. Some models will require a CVT-specific transmission fluid, while others will require a specific grade of fluid that could be compatible with conventional transmission fluid specifications. Your customer should pay close attention to the Mercon and manufacturer grades. For example, Mercon V is not the same as Mercon LV, which has a different viscosity. They should be absolutely sure that the fluid is compatible before putting it in the transmission. Never take specifications for granted. Some Ford Fusion hybrids call for a Toyota Aishin grade of transmission fluid. Last but not least, let's talk about air conditioning. Some hybrid vehicles use air conditioning compressors that are operated by an electric motor instead of a drive belt. The motor's insulated windings are immersed in the compressor's lubricating oil. The oils used in these compressors can have high dielectric, non-conductive properties. If a different type of oil somehow makes its way into one of these compressors, and if the insulation on the windings is damaged or compromised, a variety of problems may occur. The greatest risk is that the oil may conduct high voltage to the compressor case or connected components. A person could receive an electric shock if they touch the compressor, engine, etc., and an appropriate ground. So, recommending the correct compressor oil not only can prevent damage to the AC system, but it also can prevent serious injury. Thanks for watching.